Last year, we all experienced a winter of unusually heavy snowfall and a flood-soaked spring that saw the heartland awash with record-breaking precipitation. We even experienced extreme summer heat. But in spite of these challenges, the hope-filled families in the Archdiocese of Regina focus on the future. They sow their crops and gardens, believing that the soil will release its life-giving energy. I'm Father Lauren Crozon, and I'm the Vicar General and the Annual Appeal Chair for the Archdiocese of Regina. The diocese is also focusing on the future, and I want to thank all of you who donated more than $960,000 to last year's appeal. We appreciate the sacrifice you made to help us in our efforts to bring Christ to His people. As we begin the 2011 campaign, we acknowledge that charitable giving across North America has plummeted. We are experiencing unprecedented challenges. After sending out more than 25,000 pledge cards last year, less than 5,000 were returned. But what is really remarkable is that 70% of our goal was still achieved. However, failure to reach our goal over the past several years has resulted in cuts for many ministries and an increase in the general assessment to parishes. We need your help more than ever. Here are some of the reasons to give to the appeal. Hello, I'm Barry Wood, Financial Officer for the Archdiocese of Regina. The annual appeal helps pay the salary and living expenses of our international priests until they are placed in a parish. The appeal also supports our seminarians financially. This year we are supporting six international priests and three seminarians. Four other men are also discerning a vocation to the priesthood. Your donation to the appeal will help us ensure that we have enough priests to serve all the parishes in the Archdiocese. Hello, I'm Sister Anastasia Young. As the Director of Pastoral Services for the Regina Archdiocese, I want to personally assure you that we are gifted with women and men in pastoral departments who are faithfully committed loyal and dedicated to their particular ministries. They provide opportunities to all deaneries in an effort to empower parishioners in accepting the challenge of stewardship and as disciples, attending to local parish needs. If any of your lay leaders, catechists, lectors, music directors, or youth ministers have attended a deanery sponsored program, seminar, educational course, or workshop, chances are it was facilitated by someone in the Pastoral Services Department. I am Bonnie Teeley Hunt, the coordinator of the John Paul II Office of Adult Education and Faith Formation. The Church considers catechesis for adults as the chief form of catechesis. Workshops on the Growing Faith Project a resource based on the Catechism of the Catholic Church, are being held in each of the deaneries, with the goal that the resource will be implemented in each parish. The Lay Ministry Formation Program is also part of the John Paul II Office of Adult Education and Faith Formation. I'm Judy Zalk, and I coordinate the three-year program as lay people journey to deepen their baptismal call and live it more fully in the world. The 500 alumni are involved in a variety of ministries within their families, communities, parishes, and for the Archdiocese. The Native Ministry Program serves First Nations peoples in Regina and on 25 reserves in the Archdiocese. It is coordinated by Father Wojtek Bukowiak in the Lestock area and Sister Bernadette Feist in Valley Native Ministry. They focus on religious and cultural education and pastoral ministries and activities, including the substantial fundraiser, the Too Good To Be Through Second Hand Shop and Lunch Program in Labrette. The Urban Ministry Program serves the First Nations Urban Reserve in Regina. 
We also support Visitation House, a drop-in centre for women in the core area of Regina. It provides a safe place for women to receive practical, emotional and spiritual support. Has anyone in your parish been in a Regina hospital or nursing home and had a visit from a Catholic lay chaplain? The Archdiocesan Appeal provides salaries for chaplaincy services as well as a modest honorarium to pager relievers and relief chaplains for patients, 60% of whom are from outside of the city. Catechetical coordinators Mike McDonald in Regina and Shannon Sissick in Esterhazy provide catechetical materials for children and youth, help implement the restored order of the sacraments, and provide deanery workshops for parish catechists. The hope is that every child in the Archdiocese has access to ongoing process of faith formation. I'm Stephanie Malloy, campus minister at Campion College at the U of R. University students who attend Mass at Campion, who get involved in any of our faith or justice programs, or who need spiritual guidance also benefit from the Archdiocesan Appeal. It's especially important to have a faith community when your student is away from home. Hi, I'm Michelle Braden, the new Youth Ministry Coordinator for the Archdiocese of Regina, and I'm thrilled to be embarking on this new adventure. I've worked with young people for the last 25 years, and in my experience they all hunger for hope and meaning in their lives. The great challenge we face is in finding new ways in which to reach them. I believe we as God's people are up to the challenge. We have to be. To focus on our young people is to focus on our future. So let's not lose heart. There is reason for great hope. Father Ron Andre and the Liturgy Commission are responsible for facilitating the worship life of parish communities in the Archdiocese. They help to provide liturgical experiences, guidance and workshops that celebrate and strengthen our journey of faith especially as we implement the changes in the new Roman Missal. The Social Justice Department serves as a resource for the Archbishop to evaluate, initiate, and implement social action and justice programs. Bert Pitzel prepares background information and courses of action for local and international social justice issues. Abdul Ali, the refugee field worker, assists individuals, parishes, and groups who want to privately sponsor refugees to the Archdiocese. Funds from the Appeal provide support for workshops and speakers promoting ecumenism, provide the Archdiocesan Resource Centre with audiovisuals, books and programs for parish use, and help keep parishes informed by funding the Arch and development of the new website. Hello, I am very happy to have this opportunity to speak with you as your Archbishop about the annual appeal for our diocese. The Archdiocese's annual appeal is our largest annual fundraising project. It supports more than 30 ministries and programs that are carried out in our diocese. I sincerely thank all of you who always donate to the appeal. Your contributions have been generous and encouraging, a witness to the gospel message of stewardship. I would also like to thank our priests, religious, and lay people who already do so much to serve others. Your actions enhance our children's religious education, encourage vocations, and support the many good works of our archdiocese. Last year's appeal fell short of its goal. As a result, we have had to cut or reduce funding to some of our programs. It is our hope that this year we will meet our goal so that these good works can continue. Each of us has much to be thankful for in our lives. God has been generous in his goodness to us. I hope that a grateful heart will inspire you to make a commitment to this year's annual appeal as we nurture the seeds of faith into our future.
Thank you, and may your lives be filled with God's blessing.